audio jungle. Hi guys, welcome to Football Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading the love during this pandemic. Because we all need a little bit of loving, guys. We all need a little bit of loving. Now, before I go any further, please like, share, most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Remember, subscription is free. So if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscriber button right now. Okay, uh, with it being transfer deadline day, um, it was an interesting uh, talk regarding uh, West Ham owners David Sullivan and David Gould, uh, Gold, sorry Gould, uh, David Gold and uh, David Sullivan. Now whenever, um, it does seem that uh, good old uh, Jim White gets his information or his dodgy transfer information regarding West Ham from the owners directly. Unfortunately his co-presenter Simon Jordan has their number every single time and makes Jim White look like a, an absolute tool of the highest order whenever these, uh, whenever the old West Ham owners come into conversation. Now, for many years, West Ham fans have been saying that, uh, you know, they always put in bids, which are basic, basically ghost bids. You know, they tell the media that, oh, they try to get him you know, couldn't do it, ran out of time in a transfer window. It, it happens every single transfer window with him. And today, Simon Jordan pulled up Jim White on his so-called advisors and said exactly what West Ham fans have been thinking every single transfer window. Listen to this. Your sources are. Is it the old Rothman's football guide, David Sullivan, posing as Baron Manchelson meets Serrano de Bergerac on his latest acquisition policy of buying a player that he has no real ability to buy? Indulge me for a second, for one second. I, I wrote an article in The Guardian 15 years ago about David Sullivan and his transfer activities. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll read it. It'll take about 10 seconds. I oh, don't read his whole article. No, no, no. Just this paragraph. Shut up. All right. All right. Third, their business ethic. I've had enough dealings with them to fill the paper, but here's the most recent. Before our game against Birmingham last season, Sullivan came over to me and said, Simon, Simon, my boy, we know what you like with bad decisions. We don't want any bad decisions referring to Andy Johnson's spurious diving image. So 12 months later, imagine my surprise when Sullivan told the press I'd rejected his six and a half million bid for Andy Johnson. There was no bid, no approach, no inquiry, nothing. Sullivan misled the press and the public in an attempt to unsettle my player and to make himself and Birmingham look ambitious. Here's you, mate. I think if you're so, gonna, so what are you saying that there has been no not not one but two bids well, for Calvin? Pope. I don't I don't believe that there's any real. Listen, first of all, the players have got two and a half years left on his contract. This is a standard way of operating that Sullivan and and Gold, maybe a bit more David, has. What? Who in God's name told them that Calvin Phillips was ready to go to West Ham and wants to go to West Ham? And and, and on what basis have they gone in there on a fifty million pound player that was never going to go to in the first place? It looks good on paper. We mm. can all bid for players and make sure the media are aware of our ambitions. Mm without actually being able to conclude them.